Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adabas, asriyakal, assalamu alaikum, welcome and come back and to all of you. Welcome to today's session and as you all know, this is your Prodigy series for ICSE 10th. The topic we are discussing today is probability. So that is a very small topic and we'll be discussing different types of questions related to probability. All right. So guys, my name is Gopal Paliwal. I am your master teacher of mathematics here at Vedantu, done my graduation from IIT Dhanbad, have been teaching now from the past five plus years. You can see the credentials on your screen and we'll be starting the class. So probability may, you know, different types of questions are there. First, we'll understand the basic definitions and then we'll solve some questions. So probability is the measure of uncertainty. That means calculating the chances of happening of something or not happening of something, whether it will happen or not, what are the chances of it? Mathematically calculating it is called probability. It is used in various fields like mathematics, physical sciences, commerce, biological sciences, and various fields it has the application. Now the terms, some terms which we need to understand first is experiment. What is an experiment? Experiment is any process which will have some outcomes. For example, tossing a coin. When you toss a coin, you get different outcomes, head, tail, throwing a dice, picking a ball, and anything, any activity you are doing that can be termed as an experiment. Out of those experiments, some experiments are random experiment. The experiments will be called random if you cannot predict the, up, uh, uh, the outcome which is going to happen. You cannot predict that what is definitely going to happen. You know one of the things will happen, but we cannot be predict with surety. All right. So which outcome cannot be predicted with certainty. For example, when I toss a coin, I can never be sure that it is going to be head only or it is going to be tail only, tail only when a coin is fair. Right. Okay. So we know that outcome will be out of head or tail, but what it will be that we cannot say. So that is a random experiment. Sample space. First important thing for us in all the questions of probability sample space means uh, all the possible outcomes set of all the possible outcomes in an experiment for example one coin set of possible outcomes are head and tail for example say uh, tossing a, a throwing a dice getting one two three four five six these are the six possible outcomes the so sample space is the num the total possible outcomes and this is what we will find out in every question first we will find out the sample space that means all the possible outcomes all right and then we will see how many outcomes are favorable to the given event so event is it can be any of the outcome or collection of outcomes okay this is what it will be asking say when i throw a dice get what is the probability of getting two so getting two is the event for which i am calculating probability so here only one outcome getting two will be counted but if i say find the probability of getting an even number while throwing a dice. So in even number, I'll include three pro outcomes, getting two, getting four, getting six, right? So event can be a single outcome as well as collection of outcomes also. Equally likely outcomes means if all the outcomes have equal chances of happening, all the outcomes have equal chances of happening, right? Now, experimental probability formula, number of trials in which the event happened divided by total number of trials. That means Suppose if an experiment is conducted, we have noted the result of that experiment and on the results of those experiments, we are predicting the next outcome, then it will be called experimental probability. Okay. So in this, the experiment has already been conducted various times. We have got the data, we got the data of the outcomes and on the basis of those outcomes, we'll calculate the next chances. So in this total number of trials, in which the event which whatever event for which we have to calculate the probability the number of trials in which that event happens divided by total number of trials you know? but more important is classical or theoretical approach here we do not we do not conduct the experiment without doing the experiment we calculate the chances of happening so for example they go uh, classical approach why it is more important is no matter how many times i toss a coin it at the end what matters is like uh, we know that getting head or getting tail it has half probability it can be head also it can be tail also correct so that is what matters at the end that uh, in a toss also no matter how many times you do the experiment next again is going to be random so here classical approach works a lot so classical approach may first you will find out all the possible outcomes 
then see how many outcomes are favorable formula over here is very similar to the experimental one here number of outcomes favorable to the event divided by total number of outcomes and there number of uh, say uh, number of trials in which the event happened divided by total number of trials so there are trial matters and here sample space how many possible outcomes are there how many are favorable to it okay so that is what we will be studying this is the formula which we have to study second thing probability of happening any probability of any event probability of any event will always be from 0 to 1 probability of any event will be from 0 to 1 why it will be 0 the numerator becomes 0 if there is no outcome which is favorable to the event then I will say that events probability will be 0 and remember if probability of any event is 0 that will be an impossible event that event will never happen so if probability of any event is 0 that means that can never happen impossible event for example throwing uh, getting 7 while throwing a dice so on the dice numbers are only 1 2 3 4 5 6 you will never get 7 then probability if it is 1 that means all the outcomes are favorable to the event and this is a sure event which is definitely going to happen for example while throwing a dice probability of getting a natural number so that will happen in all the cases 1 2 3 4 5 6 all are natural so every time no matter how many times i throw the dice i will get a natural number all right and in between them the more probability is closer to one the more likely it will happen the more it will away from one or more it is closer to zero the more less chance of it is happening also second thing guys if we know probability of happening of something okay so probability of not happening of something that is represented by e bar probability of not happening of something will be one minus probability of happening of it or we can say probability of happening of something plus probability of not happening of something will be equal to 1. Obviously, 1 means sure. So, whether the given event will happen or it will not happen. Okay? So, this can be used whenever you have to find out the probability of not happening of something. Alright, this I have discussed with you as well. Impossible event you know, and sure event. Alright guys, so now we'll be solving some questions but before we go ahead guys, you can definitely go ahead and check out Vedantus Pro subscription courses. Amazing deal you are getting right now. How you can register, just go to the link which is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment and going there, apply the coupon code GPE Pro, which will give you flat 10% off. Flat 10% off you are getting guys. Let me show you how you can register for it. In the description box here, you can see avail all exciting Vedanto courses. Click on any of the link. Now here, select grade 10. Here by clicking on change, I have selected grade 10 and I am selecting ICSC. Alright, and here you can see this is the price after applying GPE Pro. Uh, you will be getting flat 10% off. This is the price for Pro Lite and this is the price for Pro Classic. So in both these uh, types of subscription, you get unlimited live classes, test series, assignments, notes, doubt solving during the class with the help of class teachers in both the subscription. Pro Classic has one extra feature which is doubt solving on mobile app. So you get access to Vedantu's doubt solving app where you can send your doubt and your doubt will be answered. If you want to try it guys, you can start with trial period also, try it for 15 days and if it suits you, you can go ahead with the whole subscription as well. All right. So just click on this and then you will be able, you will be ready to register for it. Okay. Simple and nothing else. All right. Okay. Bacho. Chalo. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Aage hai. Let's look at some questions. First question in a single throw of die, find the probability of getting a number greater than four, less than or equal to four, not greater than four. So guys, you know, sample space and how many sample space I'm writing with us. How many outcomes are there? So I will say how many total outcomes are possible in sample space. So I can get one, I can get two, I can get three, I can get four, I can get five and I can get six. Total six possible outcomes. Total six possible outcomes. Let's look at the first one where my event is greater than four. Please read carefully. In probability questions, the most important thing is reading the question carefully. Greater than four you want. 
remember less than 4 will not work over here even 4 will not work as well because 4 is equal to 4 so greater than 4 may only two outcomes will be favorable 5 and 6 right so i can say the probability of happening of an of this event e will be favorable e outcome sorry number of outcomes favorable to the event two outcomes upon total number of outcomes 1 by 3 right similarly if I go for the second one, second event, say F, you want less than or equal to 4. So less than 4 will work, equal to 4 also will work. So 1, 2, 3, 4, which means what? Total 4 favorable outcomes, probability of this event will be 4 by total number of outcomes, which is 2 by 3. Correct. Last one, let's look at the last one, third one not greater than 4. They go, these things you need to understand it very clearly. Not greater than 4. The number should not be greater than 4. It can be less than 4. Yes, it can be equal. Yes, but not greater. So here it is exactly same as the previous one. 1, 2 and 3 and 4 will be accepted. 4 favorable outcomes. Probability over here will also be 4 by 6, which is 2 by 3. Okay. The second and third event are exactly same. Only thing is they are written in different ways. So reading the question carefully is very important in probability. Okay, next. If A and B are two complementary events, then what is the relation between P A and P B? What is the relationship between these two events, P of A and P of B? These two are complementary events. Complementary events, remember if I have not told you in detail here, I have told you not happening or something. So probability of happening of something and not happening of something, they are called complementary events. Okay. All right. So if I give you the probability of happening of something, not happening of something will be complementary to it. So A and B are complementary events. What is the relationship between P and PV? So first one, P of A, probability of happening of A plus probability of happening of B will be equal to 1. If they are complementary events. Second, probability of happening of event A is 0 0.46. Probability of not happening of event A. So probability of happening of A is equal to 0 0.46. Probability of not happening of A, which is probability of B only. Yeah, since they are complementary, right? 1 minus 0 0.46, which will be 0 0.54. All right. Take care. Next. In a single throw of die, find the probability of getting 5. First one. Sample space, I will write over here. Sample space when we throw a die. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, how many? First one, let's see. How many uh, probability over here? How many favorable outcomes we have? So, by first one, may favorable outcomes getting 5. Only one favorable outcome. Na? That is what? Getting 5 only. So, one favorable outcome out of 6. Second one, probability of getting 8. 8, no favorable outcome, 0 upon 6, which is 0. Impossible event. Third, okay, so here only one outcome, which is getting 5. Here, no outcomes. Nil, nothing. Number less than 8, all are favorable over here. So probability over here will be 6 by 6, 1. Sure event, all numbers are less than 8. Fourth one, a prime number. Now they go prime number out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are 2, 3 and 5. Remember, 1 is neither prime nor composite. So probability will be 3 favorable outcomes out of 6, which is 1 by 2. Which is 1 by 2. Okay? Easy. Questions are comparatively easy. Do not worry. Next, a, big, a bag contains 6 identical black balls. A child withdraws one ball from the bag without looking into it. What is the probability that he takes out a white ball? There are six black balls only. So here probability will be zero. All balls are black or six outcomes are favorable. One. Okay? This is directly you know it. And an easy questions. So now it is a good question. Ramesh chooses a date at random in January for a party. There is a January's calendar given to you. What is the probability that he chose uh, he chooses a Wednesday? So probability of choosing a Wednesday, I can say out of these 31 days, he can choose any one days, any one day. So total 31 outcomes are possible. He can choose any one day out of 31 days. 
Now, if he wants to choose Wednesday, how many possible outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 Wednesdays are there, so 5 by 31. Similarly, probability of choosing a Friday will be Friday is over here. How many Fridays we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Fridays. So again, 5 by 31. Third one, guys, listen carefully. Probability of choosing a Tuesday or Saturday. Now, understand over here, Tuesday or Saturday or means either Tuesday or Saturday, any one of them. So, we will calculate the cases of Tuesdays. There are four Tuesdays and there are four Saturdays. So, 4 plus 4 by 31, which is 8 upon 31. Okay? 8 by 31 will be your correct answer. All right. So, guys, I have just done some basic problems in today's class. Next class, we will be taking problems of, uh, say, more higher value. My main, I wanted you to go through the uh, whole definition purpose, definition part, understanding the problems. Hai na? Basics we have done. Next class, we will be solving it to the higher level. Now, this is your homework question, guys. Do let me know the answer for this homework question. In the comment section, let me know what is your answer over here. Think carefully. All right. And then give me your answer. And guys, don't forget. GPE Pro is your code to get flat 10 percentage off. Right. So go ahead. Register for Vedantu's Pro subscription. And, uh, and welcome to Vedantu. There you can have lots and lots of uh, this thing. Uh, here benefits in your studies. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. And uh, this is all you can see one course recently started you can join this course okay bacho? Chalo. so thank you so much guys for joining the session i hope all of you enjoyed it a small session because the topic will uh, topic is comparatively easy next class will solve some more important questions as well so thank you so much guys please don't forget to like before you leave share the video with your friends subscribe to this channel if you are new here thank you so much i'll see you all in the next class till then bye bye sayonara for the office to all of you bye bye bacho.